Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Picklet here once again, and I'm back for some more of yet again for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more as play of Super Mario Galaxy for the Nintendo Wii. So, last time we actually did manage to collect ourselves three Power Stars in Good Egg Galaxy. And, uh... I think that's about it, obviously, so, uh, yeah, today for this episode is the fact that we are about to be, um, going our way to the forms of our next galaxy in the forms that this game introduces, and even then, though, since we've got ourselves four power stars throughout so far, so that way we can able to actually unlock the next power star in the actual, well, to be more specifically by the forms of, not only by the forms of the next bunch of power stars to collect, but also by the forms of several new galaxies to explore. See, Fernando, let's go ahead and jump in. See, Fernando, uh, at the moment we can only unlock this level right here right now, because, as you can tell, because we still have four power stars, and we need to acquire three power stars to unlock the... Honey Hive Galaxy, so, may be interested with this particular place, because of, uh, well, as far as I'm looking forward to it, though, still, but even then, no, yeah. Alright, so, let's see, B Mario takes flight, so, does that mean that, uh, we might actually get ourselves our new next transformation, or in this case, our first, well, if you have a first time playing this game and jump into this particular galaxy first, then, uh, this might actually be quite familiar to you, but he forms of, uh, for your, uh, you know, your new power-up, or your first new power-up introduced. See, Fernando, that might be some conception. So, and if you go all, all the way over there, then you can get yourselves a whole bunch of your start bits, which, as far as I can see, that, uh, the start bits formation actually, uh, says M, means represents Mario, which is pretty obvious, so, uh, yeah. Welcome to the Honey Hive Kingdom, our queen rules this land. I see. That's quite, uh, familiar, as far as I'm usually concerning with, but hey, uh, at least I don't have to hunt for honey or anything, unlike, uh, Winnie the Pooh, that, uh, he always goes after honey, and I believe most bears usually does that sometimes, so that I digress. Uh, before we continue, there is actually a little bit of a secret area that we can actually stumble across, and that's we need to use son of a... Stupid piranha plants. I hate those sometimes. Well, at least to the uh, to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's credit, that uh, they managed to make them a playable character this time around. Which, either way, still haven't heard from the release date for that yet. But I've heard they're going to be releasing that until February at some point this year. But either way, though, we'll find out and see what happens. So. Yeah, today was actually forms of uh, the 5th of January in 2019, and uh, because of this though, uh, there's not much else I can still say about it, other than the fact that we can able to farm some more star bits, by simply able to actually smash for those little, uh, little boulders or rocks. So even then though, you can either spin them at the right time onto that little red core center, or you can able to actually blast through them, by simply transforming to ourselves into forms of Rainbow Mario, so this is actually the second time we've seen that power-up, so... Or in this case, for that specific, uh, power-up we actually use. And from here, as soon as we, after we collect ourselves the forms of that question mark coin, we finally start to reveal ourselves the forms of, uh, the first proper transformation, if you notice if you have a first time playing the game on the Nintendo Wii, or the Wii U at this point, because yes, there is also a... Wii U download re-release, Steve and though that it gets like a cheaper price. So either way though, let's go ahead and touch that. And Wii U transformed into B Mario. Hold eight hold A to buzz around. See so Fernando, that way we can able to fly. So And obviously if you can see on the actual meter, then we have to rely on the forms of the flight meter. So if it runs out, then obviously you won't be able to actually fly continuously. So you have to like Purposely fly a little bit of amount, a little bit amount of fly, as far as you might as well consider this for this match. However, though, you don't have the ability to able to use the long jump, which is okay, because either way, though, I can sure that I can able to actually just to deal without it. So either way, though, uh, yeah, B Mario is actually a pretty cool addition to the forms of the power-ups uh, selection throughout. And the same applies by the forms of the rest of the power-ups of the game, especially in Super Mario Galaxy 2, which we'll get to that again when it gets to April. So even then, though, um, yeah, there's not much else I can say about the forms of being Mario, but, uh, other than the fact that you can able to actually stand onto the forms of the actual flower platforms, as you can see there, whilst the new forms of normal regular Mario, then you won't have the ability to able to actually stand onto these little flower platforms, because if that, if this happens, then obviously you're able to drop through it, so even then though, that could be, 
Uh, you know, something related to when we get to later levels of the game, especially missions especially, then, you know, you get the idea with the solution, so... The only thing that B Mario cannot able to actually just to harm him, or in this case, the only thing that B Mario uh, will able in order to actually get rid of the B suit is the fact that he can neither touch the water because, as to be expected for bugs or ants or especially bees, because I recently watched the films of, uh, uh, you know, a bug's life. Well, I wasn't really a big fan of that film, honestly, but either way, though, I still think ants is more, well, to me, though, in my personal opinion, a little bit more. Superior. Well, I hate to be break it up to you for this point, folks, but honestly, think I actually think Ants was actually a, probably my childhood. But um, I digress. But either way, though, that uh, you know how the fact that with bees, ants, and bugs, especially, they just really do not like water. So either way, that's how it usually goes. And especially noticeable with the forms of, uh, as you can tell, I accidentally got hit by the forms of those one of those. Uh, bug creatures as far as I'm concerned, that way it also managed to get rid of the forms of the bee suit, so I'll have to purposely watch out for those. So anyways, so what's cool about this also is the fact that you can able to actually climb onto the forms of the actual honey walls, so even then, that might be, be the only uh, unique ability with the forms of Bee Mario can do. And who might you be? Uh, physical we presume? Well, at least as far as you can actually tell about this at this point, so uh, yeah, no matter what, we are, yeah, that's far as I can usually say. I apologize by the forms of my lack of dialogue because of, uh, I can't really normally read some of this stuff most of the time, but I do know some of these actual, like, um, dialogue or anything like that. So, anyways, though, let's keep on farming those, uh, start bits for now, and we actually got ourselves 200, or in this case, over 200 right about now. And for this section right there, all you have to do is just climb onto this Honey Queen, and then you have to basically grab the start chips, and that's all you have to do. So, yes, that's the ticket. Yeah, surely. You must admit it, though. My thanks. You have shown much bravery, newbie. We trust that we may rely on you in the future. Yes, absolutely. Especially noticeable, because unlike in most of these bugs or insects out there in these specific enemies and stuff, then, well, we could not able to rely on them, because either way, though, that will cause a lot of trouble, so... But I digress, and we made our way to there, and this is where we actually introduce into ourselves Captain Toad. Ah, oh, a bee! What? Mario? Hey, it's you. We escaped from Peach's castle too. But then we thought Bowser would get us, and then we got lost with Luigi. Huh? Luigi? Oh, I just remembered. We found a power star. I'm sure you need this, so here, take it. So yeah, this is actually the first introduction to the forms of Captain Toad, because this is before when uh, Super Mario 3D World exists, they actually bring him back. Especially noticeable with Super Mario Galaxy 2, don't forget. And especially he got his own game by the forms of in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker for the Nintendo Wii U, Nintendo Switch, and of course Nintendo 3DS. Which, if you've been following for our, well, for my last play of the forms of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, be sure to check it out if you can. But either way, though, not to, uh difficult to explain about it, and we actually discover another new galaxy to explore, so that way we can do that for a later time, but for now, Mario, your name is Mario, isn't it? That is what I heard from your friends you, uh, who just arrived. Mario, it has such a nice ring. Your friends are waiting for you in the garage. I think they want to tell you something, so you'll, be you'll best hurry on over there. Well, I'd love to, Rosalina, but at the moment, I'm actually kind of busy at the moment by the forms of able to actually not only try to able to get as many of those star bits as, as far as I could, because as you can tell, that I've almost reached up to over 1,000. So even then, though, again, it's a very great way to able to farm those uh, star bits as much as I can, especially noticeable because of that area I actually discovered that in the forms of the first mission of Honey Hive, and, uh, you know, you, you know, you get the idea with this particular point. So even then though, and also at the same time, I need to go after every single uh, power stars as much as I can, so... Anyways though, back to Honey Hive we go, and able to actually deal with the next mission, so... Because at the moment, in most of the main uh, galaxies can only hold up to three episodes instead of uh, six episodes in Super Mario 64, and eight episodes from Super Mario Sunshine, and even seven episodes of... Uh, you know, Super Mario 64 DS, but at the moment, for right now, we can only deal with three episodes, so... Next mission we have is Trouble on the Tower, so... Who could possibly be a wonder? Well, we'll never know until whenever we're able to actually 
get onto the actual tower in the first place. So, but I digress. Now, normally, well, for those of you ever no, uh, do not actually, actually know about this, well, as, at this point in time, that um, as you can see, that um, in addition with the forms of uh, my game capture quality, is actually a little bit more better than the forms of back in 2012 or something like that. And also because I actually make the game in the widescreen, so even then, though, that just makes it so much more uh, easier to see on the horizon, especially in side by side. And overall, I think to me, widescreen is actually a little bit more better to me compared to the forms of uh, 4.3 ratio. Well, 4.3 ratio, I don't mind in some titles, and especially in some films that I recently got. Most notably by the forms of, I've got a DVD version of uh, Monsters Inc, specifically by the forms of the original DVD version, and it still runs in the forms of uh, 4.3 uh, ratio, which I still don't mind at all, besides the forms of the occasional um, screen scrolls, see for Nendo, that I don't usually mind too much. But most of the time though, in the VHS versions, they always attempt to do that because of, uh, well, there are rare occasions where some VHS tapes do seem to have the widescreen support, rare, rare occasions, like I saw a couple of them, like, I'm pretty sure the Lion King has that, and especially noticeable for Hercules as well, and especially Ants as well, but uh, as far as the rest, I don't remember so much, because either way though, I'm pretty sure that most of these VHS tapes back in the day, they managed to release them in during the likes of in the 1990s or something like that, so I think that may seem the case. So even then though, let's go ahead and just, you know, keep farming more of those star bits as we could, and especially noticeable that- Whoa! Did I? Okay. <laughs> I almost feel, um, almost feel quite, uh, in danger with that specific, uh, spot that I almost gotta fall off, and even then, though, uh, that way it will cause my first, uh, death of the actual main playthrough of the game, so... In fact, speaking of the first, uh, death on the forms of this particular game itself, um... I still remember that one long time ago, back in 2012, that I think this is the only mission I've actually got myself my first death on. I think it's most likely because, well, that was back in the day that was. But the reason why, about the fact that, the reason why I died, or in this case, I managed to able to actually get myself my first death of the playthrough back then, is because I wasn't paying too much attention with that specific pattern, and you can definitely tell why when we actually get onto the tower itself, so... Anyway, so, uh, let's do a backflip, so just in case I can able to skip over by that, uh, note patch right there, even though it's important to you, but either way though, because I always love doing speedrun tactics in this game, especially in the most of the 3D Mario games these days, well, not so much, I will admit though, by the forms of Super Mario 3D Land, honestly, because there were a few times though that, uh, my buttons, uh, uh, the actual buttons on the 3DS can be a bit small compared to the forms of the Wii U gamepad controls or any anything else for that reliable, but that's what I'm really saying, so either way, yeah. So yeah, another thing is worth mentioning though is the fact that um, we, we actually only got ourselves six more days to go until the forms of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch will be on its way, see for Nintendo, that uh, for the most part, um, as far as the actual future days are concerned, well, I'm usually going to be going for like, uh, going for this game, uh, again for the time being. Well, but he forms of like, this is the reason why it took me like, uh, three days delay to come back to this is because that, uh, recently Mario's need to go back into the forms of Super Mario Odyssey and all that stuff. Despite the fact that Super Mario Odyssey is going to be the biggest game to be able to do a Let's Play on. And same applies for this as well. Oh, by the way, woohoo! Man, I love doing that. Especially noticeable because of on the rainbow effect, but he forms of the actual Rainbow Mario's ability, which I do appreciate about that stuff, so anyway. So anyways though, um, originally also is the fact that I was originally going to be playing this on the Wii U system, but uh, the truth is, is that d uh, despite the fact that um, I could usually uh, replay the game no problem on the Wii U, but um, on the other hand though, I cannot apply to the forms of how you think about the forms of like, well, I just feel like playing on the Wii console it might be my in my entire thing. Well, despite the fact with the downgraded uh, visual style, but either way though, or the actual quality of that specific stuff, but anyway. So here we go, onto the forms of, let's just say a mini boss, by the forms of these little, these uh, bug type enemies, and you have to simply just ground pound them, well, the first one on top, and then the second one down from there. So even then, once you're done with that, 
then the actual power star is yours. So, I think this is one of the prime examples I actually accidentally uh, died on that specific mission back in the day because I wasn't paying that much attention. Or perhaps it's maybe because I was still in the uh, speedrun tactics all over again. And as a result, I keep messing things up. So, I think that's why that I wasn't paying that much attention with that kind of stuff and all that shenanigans. So, anyways, though, that's it for that. And now let's move on back into the forms of Honey Hive one last time for now, until whenever we get to a later portion of the game, so to speak, then we can able to move on to the third mission. See, so for now, let's see what we've got. Big Bad Bugaboom. So does that mean that we might actually cause some a lot of chaos going on here? Especially noticeable with the Honey Hive Kingdom itself, which I'm sure enough, there is. But even then, uh, we'll find out who's responsible for all that stuff. Well, we have already know one thing for sure. But even then, though, we'll uh, come across into that uh, big bad bugaboom himself, eventually. So, as you can see, the actual music itself is going a little bit more rapidly faster, just because, well, everything else is in pure and chaos. So, specifically by the forms of these enemies that we are quite familiar with, especially noticeable that we've seen these uh, enemies twice in the previous mission, but, uh, of course, first of all, uh, before we continue on, of course, you know exactly what I'm going to go for, is to able to continuously farming those um, star bears, especially noticeable when we get to, again, later portions of the game, you know exactly what I'm always going to go after for. Because, again, this is the best way to able to grind for more of those star bears until the later level throughout the game, especially noticeable when we get to the forms of the second dome, you know exactly what I'm going to talk about, but either way though, because I've noticed by the fact that back in June in 2008 or something, that I've seemed to discover by the forms of tips and tricks that I always attempt to know every single portion throughout, but even then though, I'll show those off and whenever we get to it. So even then though, for the most part, let's go ahead and destroy these little boulders and rocks. I'm really not 100% sure if we can able to actually kill these little uh, bug type enemies by the forms of like the uh, the Rainbow Mario because it doesn't seem to last quite long unless if you're able to be faster enough. But either way though, that's just how it goes. So Again, not much else to really say for the most part for this point guys other than the fact that, um, well, I believe for the majority of the forms of July, especially noticeable in February as well, uh, it's going to be filled with Mario videos, and because the reason why is because, thank God, the actual Nintendo's creators program has been now discontinued for now, which I'm really happy about because I really don't think I can come across into a copyright claims again, which I'm really happy for. So anyway, the neighbors are causing trouble again. We would be be most grateful for your assistance. Well, sure enough, I can able to stop one of them. So even then, now let's go ahead and launch ourselves into the forms of that specific uh, platforms there, including the actual tree, so that we can able to know who might have done this. So either way though, let's go ahead and transform into ourselves being Mario, so just in case if we fly across, and then while at the same time ignoring the actual black hole at the same time, and we can surely we can make our way from here, so... There we go, we've actually did arrived, and sure enough, we got ourselves our next boss, which appears to be Big Bad Bugaboo. And it's pretty simple, fly towards up on top of his head, and ground pound his mark. So, that's all you have to do in rams and repeat. So, eventually in phase 2 and phase 3, that uh, he will now occasionally will start to fly. See, so Fernando, that, uh, again, very simple and self-explanatory, but the third phase might be a little bit tricky just because that um, as soon as he starts flying again, he now spins around. So you have to purposely try to deal with a lot of timing requirements until you're able to actually decide to land it properly. So, here goes nothing. Boom! There we go. And he's dead for sure. So yeah, if you manage to know what you're doing, you should be alright. And, uh, well, the third phase can give you a lot of practice if you notice if you ever uh, keep on missing ground pounds onto this guy. But either way though, very simple self explanatory boss fight. But you always have to be sure you need to use the dandelion to able to actually get yourselves a little bit of a lift going. Well, to be more specifically, body forms of the second phase and the third phase. Well, so the first phase you have to simply just fly upwards, even then though, that way it should not that big of a deal. So anyways though, let's go ahead and grind for some more star bits, and we actually discover a new galaxy, and occasionally there is a Hungry Luma. But we'll save those. I think I should probably save these Hungry Lumas 
until whenever we finish up everything in the entirety of the inside of the dome. So I think that's the reason why I'm actually going to be going for this specific, specific system with uh, some of these uh, missions in mind. So here we go with the next galaxy, Loop-de-Loop -loop Galaxy. So this might be fun. Even way funner for surely. So even then, though, let's see what we got. Surfing 101. Or in this case, Surfing 101. Or to be more specifically, just, you know, 101. If you like to be more precise. So anyways, I think in this mission that I believe we're actually going to be controlling by the forms of the actual manta ray, which I'm sure enough that we need to use the motion controls because that's what motion controls comes in, and uh, that's what we can do. Now, what's weird about the forms of how the fact that actually I'm getting to more on that. Are you a sofa too? Um, uh, yeah, I mostly anticipated for it. But this is your first time doing a race serving, so I'll show you on these actual tutorials. So yeah, basically you have to hold the Wii remote uh, straight forward as a such, or point at the screen as what the text says, says something to you. And then you twist it left or right in a corresponding direction, so that way you can able to steer the manta ray. Or you could potentially try to press the A button to able to speed things up. And uh, finally flicking the Wii remote upwards can able to actually let the manta ray jump. So even then though, uh, what I found is pretty weird is the fact that in the later re-release of this particular game, or port I should say, of the forms of the Nantuka Shield HD in Chinese, they managed to skip the actual motion control sequence in the first place, although it's probably because of how the fact that I'm pretty sure that particular console in Chinese doesn't require motion control, so instead you have to use the analog sticks and press the A button to jump, or I would say I may be wrong, but I haven't really uh, read by the forms of that specific console for quite a long while, especially because of how the fact that I was used to with the forms of uh, controls for the Nintendo Wii, which honestly, this particular sequence doesn't really uh, bother me as much until, well, I start to realize about the fact that, well, you know. So in this particular mission, it's very simple and self-explanatory. We need to race all the way to the forms of the finish line, and then uh, you have to go for the actual course. See if then know, and then once you're done with all that, then you can essentially try to get your power stars. So yeah, very simple and easy. So until later on, though, it gets pretty tough. Though later on, especially noticeable because of how the fact that well, just like any forms of Cooper the Quick missions in both Super Mario 64 and Super Mario 64 DS that uh, we might actually come across into the exact same uh, mission structure, but except with a different environment, making it a little bit tricky for you. But uh, until for the likes of this game, then, you know, you get the idea. So congratulations, you'll deserve a gold medal. So thank you for that. So yeah, you get the idea. Um, I highly suggest you do not fall into the actual level, because if you do, then what happens is, though, is that I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to redo the entire course again, which I can assume that it might actually represent for that, although I haven't really tested it out for myself, but I will do that on my own time, in case if anything else will happen, but I refuse to do that, so that's why I'm not going to. So there we go. Loop-de-loop -loop galaxy is completed, because as you can tell, there's only one mission on that galaxy, and same applies for uh, the rest of the other remaining galaxies as well. So yeah, we have discovered an enemy base in a region. We can, we can only hope they are not amusing or amusing the power of that poor power Grand Star. I almost say Power Star for some reason. But anyways though, so now we can actually access by the forms of that specific Bowser stage, or um, some sort of like this. But... As I said this before, we'll go those in a chronological order by the forms of the actual, like, somewhat of a similar to the actual Silas system, but like the forms of the actual planets that you see in the scientists and all that stuff. But anyways, let's move on to this uh, next galaxy, Flip Switch Galaxy, painting the planet yellow. So let's get to it. And this is a typical standard stuff. I'm assuming we need to able to activate all the switches turning into the yellow. So that's how this mission applies. So, but the only thing you need to watch out for is these little lasers, which occasionally change directions. And especially noticeable with these little uh, spikes platforms, which uh, I think fundamentally, whenever I first time I play this game, whenever I get to the later parts of the game, I swear I've managed to stop it across the forms of the actual like. Um, Oh, what's this little particular glitch again? I, uh, what the actual glitch itself is called. I believe it's like soft locking or something like that. And I've stumbled across it in the forms of the later galaxy, which I'm about to be getting to later on soon enough. 
but uh, one time I accidentally got stuck into between the forms of not only the edge of the actual planet, but also by the forms of the actual spike platform as well. So you can definitely tell why when we get to it later on, so... But I'm sure enough that I can able to actually say something whenever we get to it, so... But yeah, this mission is very simple, self-explanatory, but again, you have to activate all these switches all in yellow. So and if you do that, then the power stars uh, pop up until you're able to jump onto the forms of the actual, like, a... Let's just say a laser ring um, contraption, which is kind of cool because you can able to jump on that and act like a spring. So that way you can able to actually reach your way up to the power star. Shame there's no um, star bits on that stage, but oh well, no big deal. Especially when we get to later levels, then we can get insane amount of star bits. So that way it should be able to work out. So for this hungry Lumo, we need to feed him about 400. And if you do that, then you would able to actually get something for once. Stuff like, well, as soon as that little uh, hungry Lumo transforms into this strange portal, which actually leads us to our new stage. Specifically, Sweet Sweet Galaxy. So, let's see how this uh, stage works out to be. I I think this might be something related to candy related. So, so, Rocky Road. Not to be confused as the exact same uh, mission's name as the forms of Rocky Road minigame from Mario Party 6 slash Mario Party The Top 100 for the 3DS. So, it's kind of funny actually. So anyways though, in this particular mission, it's self-explanatory, we have to make our way all the way to the end, and while simply avoiding bottomless pit. So yeah, that's self-explanatory for the most part, so... I don't think there's any enemies around here, um, for some specific, uh, s some reasons? Well, I don't know exactly for surely though, but hey, this is pretty fun though, so... And also we heard this little familiar music in the background, but that's because there's actually a... I would say a throwback to the forms of the Super Mario Bros. 3 theme, which is pretty cool if you ask me, and I believe it does that as well in uh, Super Mario 3D Land as well, which is pretty cool because either way though, throwbacks are really, really uh, swelling to my eyes, especially noticeable with the forms of how the fact that, well, you know, as you can see, I've almost reached up to like 41 ups. Of course, much like in Super Mario 64 and Super Mario 64 DS and Super Mario Galaxy 2, uh, if you turn off the game or reset the game, um, unfortunately though, your life system will be reset back to its usual uh, 5 lives, according to what I've heard. And uh, once it does that, then your life count will be reset. So, yeah, that's as far as I can usually say about it. Unlike Super Mario Sunshine and all that stuff, What's that, what's that toad trying to say? Hey, we are going back. Okay, we'll do that, but first let me grab the rest of these star bits quickly, and we'll get the heck out of here. It's kind of nice to look at, especially because it's all sweet themed. Which, fundamentally though, it also does that in new forms of, uh, you know, in new forms of in uh, several of Mario Party games and all that stuff over the years, especially of uh, Sweet Dream from Mario Party 5, but you know, you get the idea. Alright, so we've uh, got ourselves 965 star bits for now. Almost 30 forms of 1000 and all that stuff again. But um, I'm sure enough we'll uh, get to that in the next video. Because I believe we're only going to do one more mission for now. And this video suggests and that will have to be in this level. So let's unlock that. And this will require 8 power stars to be able to unlock Bowser Jr's robot reactor. So let's see how this will bring us to. Jeez. Make it like moon. Does that mean he got himself his own moon or something? Apparently so. No, as far as I remember this correctly, back in E3 2006, alongside with uh, Dino Piranha, which I haven't mentioned about this before, that uh, between these two bosses, especially in the next boss later on, that uh, those, uh, those two bosses have been shown back in E3 2006, but um, all it does is the fact that, uh, well, I'll explain more details onto that when we're able to actually just uh, get to the actual Mega Leg boss fight, which I'm sure enough, this might actually be the next boss in the game. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get those more star bits here. So, I get only get eight. So, not much, but I. Eh. Oh my god, it's Bowser Jr. I don't know why he was there. Did we kick his butt ever since Super Mario Sunshine? But oh well. Woohahaha, <laughs> you made it. But I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go at him, make a leg, stomp him with the power of your grand scar. 
So now that Bowser Jr. got his own airship. So here we go. On to the forms of the next boss fight in Super Mario Galaxy. Now this boss is really, really epic. Especially because he is really, really big. So in order to actually get to him though, it's pretty simple. We need to basically just climb onto him. So once you do so, then the actual uh, bullet bills will start shooting at you every once in a while. Especially in these two here. And basically all you have to do is basically we need to get on top of his head. While simply avoiding those little gears to make sure you don't slip up. And uh, this guy's not that much of a challenge. I gotta tell you that right now. Now, in new forms of the E3 2006 version, rather than just giving you a Grand Star, instead it was actually Power Star instead. Because of this though, it wasn't really have enough time to develop it, unlike the forms of the final version, they have the Grand Star. So, now in this particular boss fight, you have to simply guide the bullet bill all the way to the forms of the actual security uh, glass, stained glass uh, Grand Star has been sealed. And once you're done with that, then the boss is done. So yeah, not that much of a challenge. So, because obviously, that's where the actual guiding bullet bill system were able to become in handy, whatever when we get to a later couple of missions up ahead. So, anyways, though, let's go ahead and grab the second Grand Star in Super Mario Galaxy. So yeah, we are essentially done. I can't believe we actually got into the forms of two Grand Stars for now. Well, until when we get to the sequel to Super Mario Galaxy, which I'm sure enough will, uh, mention about that whenever again when we get to april so either way though that's just usually how this goes and it looks like the actual grand star is going to be absorbed inside the actual beacon and uh that way we would able to actually access to the forms of the next dome because you can tell by the forms of the actual lines this means you're able to tra traverse to the next dome you're gonna unlock so, yeah, that's all I usually really go for. So, 11 power stars in Galaxy completed. Oh, full off to able to go back to 1000 again, but oh well. Two galaxies unlocked, okay. That's pretty cool, and all that stuff. That ball of flame represents the power of the observatory, we call it the beacon. We, when you recover a grand star, a little power star power will be restored and the beacon will grow. The Comet Observatory can use their power to fly through the universe. Once all of the power is restored, we will we will even be able to fly to the center of the universe. Oh, the power is on in a new dome, which is known as the Fountain. The newly opened dome is called the Fountain. It is quite relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about galaxies as well as the dones. You forget the location of the dome, don't hesitate to speak with me. <laughs> okay then. So, the map itself will come in handy one day, because if you lost track of yourself, especially noticeable if you want to really get into the forms of the next couple of galaxies and all that stuff, but you know, you get the idea. So, I'm afraid guys, we got the endings off at this point right there, so join me off next time of the forms of Super Mario Galaxy, is that we're about to be exploring for the next dome by the forms of the Falcons. So yeah, see you guys next time. Later, fellas.